Hi, my name is Peter Yu. I'm one of the pediatric general and thoracic surgeons at Chalk Children's, and I'm here today to discuss sacrococcygeal teratoma. So sacrococcygeal teratoma refers to a tumor or an abnormal growth from the sacrum or coccyx. Every once in a while, this tumor can be fully internal, meaning in the abdomen or pelvis. Uh, when that happens, it's oftentimes a harder diagnosis to make, and we often make it later in childhood. Assuming that your baby um, has not had major issues with the sacrococcygeal teratoma in the fetal or prenatal time period, we can wait to treat it after birth. Typically, we will do that operation within a few days after delivery. We will cut off some of the excess skin, but we will leave some skin as well so that we have enough skin covering for when we close later. We'll find the tumor. We will dissect it free of the skin and the muscles of the buttocks uh, and all the other important structures in that area. We will make sure not to harm or injure the rectum or the anus. We will also make sure to remove the coccyx or tailbone. And that's a very important part of the operation because if the coccyx or the tailbone is left in place, that could be a, an area for tumor regrowth or malignancy or cancer later on in life. The good news is your baby does not need a coccyx or tailbone. He or she will be just fine without one. Once the tumor is completely gone or removed, then we will take that extra skin and stitch everything closed. All that said, the prognosis can certainly be excellent if we catch this before it becomes malignant, if we do the operation early enough in life. Uh, if that happens, the risk of developing a cancer or malignancy later is very low. The chance of your baby being fully continent, meaning potty trained, able to, to poop and urinate on his or her own is very, very good. And uh, ultimately, again, the prognosis is good.